Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 28, and this is war number 11. We have one war after this one, and then the season is over. And we're going up against an alliance called Iceberg. So we're going to go ahead and spectate and see what they have in store for us. And I am crazy late getting into this war. All right, so all right, so we've got no one on that first node, but we've got Iron Man Infinity War on that second node. Anytime I see Iron Man Infinity War, I'm going to swap out Warlock for Magneto. Now, one of my Magnetos is on defense, so I'll bring my other Magneto to handle that Iron Man Infinity War. And as you can see, they're already into the second one. Wow, I don't have anybody to fight on that node either. And then we've got a uh, thing who, like I said, that's a really good placement for him. I've said that in the past when I faced him here, because uh, if I mismanage his rock charges and he doesn't have a special ready, but he's at 15 or more, normally you would um, hit into his block to give him more power in order to fire a special and get rid of those charges. However, on this node, you have explosive personality, which will make it that much harder. So I will take him with Nick Fury because Nick Fury helps manage those charges without having to worry about getting to that state. So the whole fight will be managing the charges so that you don't end up uh, with him at 15 and not able to throw a special. All right. Then we've got Killmonger here. Um, since I don't really have, you know, I got Nick Fury that's going to take that fight, Magneto that can take that fight. Um, the other person I usually bring is Black Widow. Uh, Warlock could do that fight, but, um, if I bring him instead of Black Widow Clairvoyant, let's see, uh, then maybe, you know, if I do have to use him on, uh, Killmonger, I might also be able to use him on that apocalypse. I don't know. Um, but Black Widow Clairvoyant could also uh, possibly do the apocalypse fight. Uh, just keep healing up, blocking his specials, that sort of thing. So I'll probably bring my Black Widow Clairvoyant. She's also uh, the only six star rank three uh, that I bring on my attack team. So I kind of want to keep her uh, on the attack team for that. And, uh, as far as the minis go, uh, she could take that Nick Fury if need be. Um, maybe also that, um, Jabari Panther, uh, she could possibly take that fight. Uh, Nick Fury could take that Sorcerer Supreme. And then on the bottom right here, uh, we usually have someone that handles all three of those fights. They just bring a counter in. Um, so I'm usually not asked to do uh, any of those fights on that side, but we'll see. Uh, so with the loss that we had for the previous war, uh, this war doesn't really matter. Neither does the next one. So we have a very relaxed approach. We're not going to go up or down in rankings. Uh, Platinum 3 is, is pretty much out of the uh, equation, although I heard that there might be a new band wave coming, so who knows? You know, stranger things have happened. All right, so I'll be back uh, with the uh, fighting. All right, so as you can see, I am not going in with my standard team. I swapped out Warlock for Magneto, and you'll see why uh, when we get to that fight. All right, so... Uh, first section, I take uh, path three. Uh, no defender on that first node, but here's the guy. Iron Man Infinity War. All right. Anytime I see Iron Man Infinity War on this path, I remember what happened to me when he was on that path before. I think he was on the first node. I can't remember, but it was horrible. It was horrible. He may have been on this node, but I ended up needing one revive and I just didn't have any good counters on my team. Uh, I did it with Claire, but I mean, it was bad. It was really bad. 
Uh, if you didn't see it, you're fortunate. It was a long fight, and I believe I timed out. All right? So, anytime I see him, I'm going to go in with Magneto because he rips this guy up, especially on this node. Okay? So, standard fight, you know, you can do a reparry like I did right there. Uh, you can also uh, counter his heavy with your heavy. Uh, now, for the reparries, it's easier to do a reparry when you're against the left wall. Much easier. But as you can see, you can also do it, you know, right in the middle. One special three, and he was done. All right. That's pretty much uh, how I expected that fight to go. So much better than when you don't have the right counter. All right, so Mini was already taken. And I believe uh, Section 2 already open. Yes, okay, so uh, we have no defender on that first node again. Very little fighting for me. And now we've got Thing. And anytime I see Thing, especially on this node, I'm going to bring in Nick Fury. He is my best counter for Thing, but I still have to manage those rock charges, but it's very easy with Nick Fury because Nick Fury um, does a lot of bleeds and the rock charges will be reduced anytime he takes any type of damage that he is immune to. He's immune to bleed. So anytime I bleed him, he's going to uh, lose rock charges. So in that way... I try not to get him to 15 because I could run myself into some trouble. And on this node, it can be bad because I'll have no way, no good way, except getting hit maybe, uh, to get him power so he'll fire a special. So like if he's at 15 and he doesn't have a special yet, I'm in trouble. So we try to avoid that situation completely. And you'll see me here. That's pretty much what I'm playing around. I'm watching his charges. Now, if I think I can push him to 15 and he already has a special, I'll do it. That way I can get rid of all the rock charges quickly and we can uh, move on with the fight. All right. But so far, the fight is going pretty well. And I could have ended it here with a special three. Um, but I wanted to uh, finish it out with a special three. Uh, so what I was going to do there, and I, I want you to see that because I got nervous. I was going to finish the fight out without a special three. Just go ahead and fight him out. He went to 1%. And I got nervous because this game does some crazy stuff. They get to 1%. You didn't kill him. And I said, you know what? Let me fire that special three off. Uh, anyway. You know, uh, so anyway, the uh, mini, uh, I did not take that mini. One of my uh, alliance mates took the mini. And now we've got mini boss island. And as you can see here, we've got only that hazard shift, which somebody else takes. And this Mysterio. So I said, you know what? I've got Magneto. I wonder how Magneto will do. You know, there's the nodes. You know, uh, Mysterio is a metal champion. So Magneto should rock him. But those nodes, the nodes are, are a concern, right? But, you know, at this point, we already, you know, don't care. Our ranking isn't going to change. So it's time for me to experiment a little bit. Okay, so I was going to do the parry heavy, but the node prevented me from doing what I really wanted to do. Now, if I had to do this fight again, what I would do with Magneto is build up to a special three first, just straight out, you know, no parry heavy. And I, for some reason, forgot how to evade. That's my code for 
the AI, the uh, controls were not working quite right for me. Okay. And you can see here, now he fired that off. And I'm like, wow, I had a special three. And I'm just like, okay, here we go. We got a little bit, but because of the node, I'm not able to hold my heavy long enough to really build up the prowess charges like I should. So I'm like, you know what? We're probably done. Let's just go ahead and fire off that special uh, three. Maybe we can cycle it around, you know, do some damage, let that thing tick out. He's still battering me with that special two, but you know, is what it is. It's not going the way that I had uh, thought it would. And then he just hits me with a heavy. I swiped and he just hits me with a heavy. And I'm just like, whatever, don't care. At this point, it's whatever, okay? Um, I have fought Mysterio in the Summer of Pain. I fought him and did not have that much trouble with him. But suddenly here, uh, I should have just gone, if I wanted to just get you know him down, I should have just gone in with uh, Nick Fury. Nick Fury could have easily taken this fight. Um, but like I said, I wanted to try it out. Uh, I would do better if I took Magneto in a second time around. But anyway, that is the last fight that I had to do in this war. Uh, I did not bring Warlock, so uh, I did not take the boss. If I had Warlock and he was healed up, then I'd probably be one of the first ones going in against uh, Apocalypse. But that's going to do it for right now. And after a brief intermission, we'll be back and you'll see how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Now, this was a close war. Uh, we just lost, you know, one or two deaths. Uh, but our diversity had been fixed. But for some reason, we dipped down one. So someone duplicated a champion. I'm not sure why. Um, but we had been running full diversity when we uh fixed it up but this happened and it was a close war but as you can see you know if we had full diversity and died like maybe once less we probably could have won this fight but in any case i think a lot of people aren't really caring at this point because it's the end and our ranking isn't going to change one way or another but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.